The night of September 15th, USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory geophysical data indicated that an eruption could be occurring in a remote area of Kilauea's Middle East Rift Zone within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Scientists on a helicopter overflight the next morning confirmed that a small eruption had occurred between Makaopuhi and Napao craters, covering about four acres with new lava. Magma was still active below the surface, and that evening, September 16th, the area began erupting again, this time at the base of Napao Crater. A line of vents erupted lava that covered about a quarter of the crater floor. By the following morning, September 18th, eruptive activity had greatly decreased, and the lava flows were no longer moving. But that afternoon, vents west of Napao Crater began erupting lava that cascaded down into the crater. Over the next two days, the eruption continued until it paused the morning of September 20th. In total, more than 156 acres were covered with new rock that erupted from a fissure system more than a mile long. Numerous eruptions have taken place in this area of Kilauea's East Rift Zone over past decades. Most lasted less than a day to about two weeks but multi-year eruptions also took place. Looking at the bigger picture, this eruption signals a significant and fascinating change in activity at Kilauea.